as was the case with um, linear transformers, we had to come up with a way of specifying the polarity of the voltages and currents that were associated with the primary and secondary windings because the relationships or the, or the references of those voltages and currents depend upon the, the direction that the actual wire is round, wound around the uh, core of the transformer. So as we did with linear transformers, there's a dot convention. And the way it's stated is that choose your references for V1 and V2 and also the reference directions of your current. Then if V1 and V2 have the same sign at the dotted terminals, then V1 and V2 will have the same sign. If the signs are different at the dotted terminals, then V1 and V2 will have the opposite signs of each other. So for example, here with this dotted terminal, we've got V1 referenced at positive at the dot, and V2 is referenced positive at the dot. So V1 and V2 are both, both have the same sign reference at the dot, therefore V1 and V2 will be of the same sign. If both V1 and V2 were referenced negative at the dot, they would still have the same sign reference at the dotted terminals, and V1 and V2 would have the same sign. If one of them was positive at the dot and the other was negative at the dot, then V1 and V2 would be of opposite signs. With the current, if both I1 and I2 are referenced into the dot or are both referenced out of the dot, I1 and I2 will be of opposite signs. Otherwise, they'll be the same sign. So here we have I1 referenced into the dot and I2 referenced out of the dot because they're not both into or out of the dot, rather they are ones in and ones out, I1 and I2 will have the same sign. As kind of a practical matter, if your transformer schematic has both the dotted terminals at the top, and if you reference both the voltages positive at the top, and on the primary side you reference the current into the transistor, and on the secondary side you reference the current out of the transistor, in other words, if you reference them as might intuitively make sense, then both the voltages, V1, V2, and the currents, I1 and I2, will be of the same sign.